All right, welcome back to Women's Strength and Bodybuilding, where we highlight beautiful and talented women who compete. Or if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Mark, and please consider supporting me on Patreon if you feel so inclined. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, be sure to leave it in the comments. Oh, and be sure to subscribe so you get notified whenever I release a new video. 80% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so if you consider subscribing, it'd really help me out. Let's talk about one of the biggest babe fests in modern American history, the 1999 Miss Olympia. If you joined me before in previous videos, you know it's my favorite show. As some of you might already know, the 1999 Miss O was held in Secaucus, New Jersey, and was the 20th Miss Olympia competition. What you might not know is it was originally scheduled to be held in Santa Monica, but the contest promoter pulled it out at the last minute because they had only sold 43 tickets. That sounds similar to the reason Arnold canceled so many divisions in his exposition this year. I guess that's just the breaks of extreme women's sports. I'll admit I feel partly responsible for this, just because I haven't been to any shows in years, since well before the pandemic even. I need to fix that, and I'd love to check out the Rising Phoenix this year. But just remember guys, it's up to us to actually get out to these shows and support these women if we want to see the sport continue on. It boils down to money, specifically ticket sales. And if the sponsors and promoters aren't seeing a return on investment, more and more events will end up getting canned. That's just business 101. Anyways, the event was moved last minute from Los Angeles to New Jersey and jumbled together with the women's strength extravaganza at the time. It sounds like the promoter was international and wasn't familiar enough with the venues around LA to pick the right one. But that's okay because sponsors like Flex Magazine stepped in at the last minute and made donations of $50,000, which was enough to cover the prize money. What makes this show so special is the all-star cast and the size of the women. Kim Shazevsky's appearance here was insane. Clocking in at 162 pounds, she's one of my all-time faves. I already made a separate video about Kim, so be sure to check it out. There is speculation that the 99 Miss O was canceled because the women weren't feminine enough, and this caused uproar from FBB critics like Steve Wernerstrom and Bill Dobbins, who rushed to the sports defense by saying things like, people think women bodybuilders are bigger than they are and they are often surprised to find that in shape, they are usually smaller than the average overweight women. At her body weight, Kim is about the size of the average Olympic athlete, and most of the pros are smaller than she is. Bodybuilding is an illusion, and that much is true. From the couple bodybuilding shows I did, I noticed that backstage when the competitors weren't in front of the lights, many of them looked extremely skinny, like they needed a cheeseburger. Defending a woman's size has never been an issue for me. I like the big girls, the bodybuilders, with as much size, hardness, fullness, roundness, and vascularity as they can pack under their frame. So it's no wonder this show resonated with me. Here's a quick look at the scorecard. Just remember that the lower the overall score, the better the placing. I know I've said this before, but Valentina Shapiga, dead last, 160 points less than Kim Shizeski in first with 20 points? That is brutal. My only thought is Valentina must have leaned too much into bringing a slender and feminine look. Either that or she might have been injured. So let's go over the results, shall we? In first place was Kim Shizeski, weighing 162 pounds. This show was her sixth Olympia appearance, and she won $25,000 in prize money. In second was Vicky Gates, weighing at almost 20 pounds less than Kim at 145 pounds. This show was her fourth Olympia appearance, and she won $10,000 in prize money. In third was Laura Craval, weighing in at 141 pounds. This was her 12th Miss Olympia, and she won $7,000 in prize money. In fourth place was Iris Kyle. Be sure to watch the videos I did on Iris. She was up and coming here, and this was her first Olympia. She weighed in at 155 pounds and took home $4,000 in prize money. In fifth place was the gigantic Lessa Lewis, who, at 190 pounds, was the heaviest competitor by 10 pounds. It was her third Miss Olympia and she won $3,000 in prize money. Hard to believe the biggest competitor didn't win. It sounds like the judges thought she was just too big, which is a shame. In sixth was Tazzy Kalum, weighing in at 172 pounds. This was her second Olympia, and she took home $1,000 in prize money. In seventh was Andrula Blanchett. She weighed in at 140 pounds, and this was her third Miss Olympia. In eighth was another one of my faves, Laura Benetti. Laura weighed 150 pounds, and this was her fifth Olympia. In ninth was the exquisite Brenda Ragonat. She's definitely crush worthy. Weighing in at 180 pounds, this was her first Olympia. In 10th was Yaksani Orikin, 
weighing in at 180 pounds. This was her second Olympia. In 11th was Gail Mower, who was the lightest competitor at the show at 135 pounds. This was her third Olympia. And in 12th, we have Valentina Shapiga, and it was her second Olympia. How crazy is it that Vicky Gates took second, displacing other competitors like Lessa Lewis and Brenda Ragonat, who were 35 to 45 pounds heavier? Well, now you know a little bit more about the 99 Miss Olympia and what makes it my fave. In closing, I think this shows us that we all need to do a better job of supporting these women. So if you have some extra time and money, try to buy some tickets and get out there and see them in person or on pay-per-view. That wraps it up. Please like the video if you love the 99 Miss Olympia too. You can support what I do on Patreon. Here's the link. Don't forget to subscribe for more great women's strength and bodybuilding content. Thanks for watching.